irrelevant. They all on. Zoe cap is half white, half melanin. Baby face and a white gold tooth cap. I treat the waiter nice, she loved that. I mix the blueberry pie. It's not what I wear, it's how I rock that. If I can buy that twice, I'll cut that. Sweet one, ten, ten, spot that, chop that. Turn a lock, me at the teller, it's not that. Oh, do the he say, she say, getting no delay. Run it like V-Lay, bro, you ain't got it like this. In my part C straight, big fur jacket from eBay, looking timeless. I got it like my skin fade, marinate. We got a toast up, celebrate. Everyone screen next up, but I'm the number one candidate. I'm a number one, like you say, set page. Used to kick boot on the estate back then. T90s with the Levi's matching, drips in the denim, that's classic. These beats get wrapped like Futamaki, that's a sushi roll, I'm a young CEO. Winter is just around the corner as you get a look at Highmark Stadium just south of Buffalo, New York. Today on to week 15 in the NFL, and we've got a good matchup in store as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Buffalo Bills. Sprint to the finish, and we are underway here in week 15. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. of this team they diagnose they cover they run they hit what a nice team second and six just inside the 30. To throw is Prescott. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. It's pretty early in the game, and they've already tried to establish him not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. On third down, it's Prescott. Is going to be incomplete. That's the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. He brought it four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. And this returnable for Hines. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. And the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 34. They start the drive with Cook. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Allen, that swung out wide to Harris.
defensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Throwing is Allen on third. Finds his rookie tight end, Dalton Kincaid. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Kavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. This is taken at about the 14. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've got to get a look at them, get a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. now Prescott he'll fire deep downfield for Lamb and this is caught right along the sideline what a job of keeping the toes in bounds there an excellent pick up of 34 yards so the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10 from the shotgun it's Prescott he lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And incomplete on a deep ball. C.D. Lamb is intended target, but it's going to be second down. You look at this Buffalo defense. Now they come in a top 10 unit against the pass, currently eighth in the NFL. And since this is such a good unit of covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typical of what we might see. A lot of short passes, see if they can generate some run after the catch, but nothing doing on that one. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he's unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the run, and that one winds up incomplete. Prescott on play action, and he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. On fourth down, Matt Ariza is sent on to punt. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? But you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. I always find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and make the offense and move the little bit. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play. Yeah. That too. <laughs> So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in a yard. The Bills at 10 and three on the year. And they were losers last time out, trying to turn things around here in this one. And it always helps to have a home crowd behind you, giving you encouragement as long as you give them something good to cheer about. So you know they just want to come out and play well for their faithful, and I expect them to do just that. Touchdown! James Cook. 
Touchdown number 22 on the season. And the Bills get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. And Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. He hasn't missed an extra point all season, and he won't miss this one either. And it's 7-0. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. Kevontae Turpin now from his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting up third down. How big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So the furious is going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? On second down, it's Pollard. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Third and short yardage, Prescott. And this pass broken up. And the contact, well timed there. And now fourth down. Here's Matt arising now. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. Hines now on the return. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And it will be first and ten as they take over. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. Good job there keeping him to a short gain. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance, reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in, well, if you're the reigning Defensive Player of the Week, you must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. Like you mixed in a few of those, but most of the plays are just like we saw there. Keep him to short gains, make the fundamental tackle. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. up the gut and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards but no more than that second down not a huge carry there on first down but not all of them will be but still all in all a positive play for the offense it's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Here's second and seven. A toss to Cook. Taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That first good for 20 and a first down.
going to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that'll make it second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here's second and three. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. The kicker here is complete. Touchdown, Bulls! Stephon Diggs. Touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Bills go up by two touchdowns. That score was not a game cruncher by any stretch of the imagination. But the other team now has to be careful to not let this game begin to slip away. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Here's the Bills kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. They'll give him four yards there. Third and seven now. Well, it's time to give more credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Prescott now. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm, trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here. They could really put them in command before. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. Wow. That ball is not free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Play action. Now it's Allen. He's got an open man. It's Diggs on the comebacker. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down.
to throw. It's Allen. From the left side here, and it's complete. And he's brought down. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in the yard. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down, Cook. And he gets it down to the 32. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. <laughs> and happy. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Just need a yard here. Second and one. And now they'll throw with Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time. Allen hit. He lost the football. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes a field goal unit. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know... After the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Final play of the half, Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A very one-sided first half. 17-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. And no thought of a return here for Hines. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. 
starting the third quarter with Cook. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 77 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Snap comes in one, and it's Allen. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. Now a second and ten. Now a give running right. It's Cook. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Two yards to go, second down. Here's Prescott. Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one. And it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. They work now on second and nine. Now Allen off the bootleg, eluding the pressure right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. 
So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Got that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second and nine. Here's Prescott. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. But when the running game's not working, sometimes you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Pollard will take it up the gut. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. Fourth down, Prescott. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That fourth down decision, unconventional but effective. And they indeed come up now with a first and ten, a fresh set of downs. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now second and nine. Prescott now from the 50. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Prescott on first down. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. We're in the third quarter in upstate New York with a second and ten. On the draw, it's Pollard. And a short gain down to about the 33. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. 
But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, the passing windows are just not there, and that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and that will move the deficit from 20 down to 17. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. And yeah, Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. The Bills take over first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Final minute now of the third quarter. They run it again with Cook. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's Allen to throw it. Flush to his right. And he'll be out right at the 35. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. At this point, this offense feels like they could just roll out anything, and it would work. They are certainly in no hurry for this one to end, not when they can rack up some stats and continue to add to their lead. Back now in Buffalo. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. Room here to run. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 92 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they turn to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. They run again on first down. Cook. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game. Plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off the game. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. That one doesn't find its target, but all in all, he's been much sharper this week. He was under 50% a week ago, and now he's up over 70%. But you know it's standard for quarterbacks and receivers to get together for a little extra time each and every day in practice. But he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he's going to get this all the way down to the Cowboys' 12-yard line. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive is eating up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. It's brought in by Harris. 
down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Give. This is Cook. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. James Cook, that's his 18th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Bills look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. The extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 24. unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Defensively, you've got the nice lead here in the fourth quarter. You're saying, eh, if they want to get a run of a little over ten yards, that's okay. <laughs> I hear what you're doing there, and I think you're on to something. They've loosened up on defense, so don't get fooled by the nice runs you're getting now. You've got to get bigger plays. Possibly think about throwing the football a bit more here. 61 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. On first and 10, Prescott. He's letting it fly for Cooks. That's caught inside the 20. A big play here for Dallas. 45 yards. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he is going to lose yardage here. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard from 17 yards out. And the Cowboys are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point was hooking, but he does make it through. And that'll cut this to a 17-point spread. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. It's been a dominant performance to this point, Charles, and this is probably exactly how they scripted this and envisioned it. They got a three-score lead, fourth quarter, and a chance if they want to continue to pour it on here. It is their call, isn't it? I mean, the way that they have taken on this game and the way that they have carried this game and have dominated this game, you're exactly right. Do what you want down the stretch. We are in the era of, hey, if you don't want us to do this to you, then you need to stop us. Their call to finish this one off. Dorrance Armstrong. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Two. 
Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Allen now looks to throw. Throw left side to Kincaid. He'll get 17 back there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. Taken right around the 44. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Looking downfield for Pollard. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. And this is a situation where, as a head coach, you're just saying, what else could go wrong? Let's get it all out of our system, please. This has been a sloppy game throughout. The execution has been lacking. A lot of mistakes, both mental and physical. And here's a big play that goes by the wayside. Prescott now on second down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Prescott looks to throw on first. Throwing left side, it's complete. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run with Pollard. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Tony Pollard with touchdown number 15 on the year and second of the game. And the Cowboys have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables. And in this case, they didn't get it done. Charles, you think about this victory, pretty impressive. They came in facing one of the top defenses in the National Football League. Not only did they get the win, they played a clean football game, didn't have any turnovers against that great defense. Yeah, it's a terrific observation because you know they emphasize ball security, wanted to avoid making any major mistakes playing against that tough defense.